Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmatov, and I'm here with a test that I always use as part of my Cypress Basics workshop. In this test, I'm loading the application using SciVisit. The application will make a get to do's API call to its backend. I'm stubbing the backend, so I always return three items for sure. Then I'm checking how many items there are. Well, there are three items. That's expected, to, and the assertion passes. But here's a cool thing, or a tricky thing, if you might say. What if I say there should be just zero items? The test should fail. Well, the test doesn't fail. Instead, it passes. And it passes because the test runner is unaware that the application is executing a get to do call after a delay. See, in my application, I can pass a query parameter and just delay the get to do's load for, you know, so say this a second and a half. Our, our test is then aware that it has to wait for a second and a half and then check the get to do. So it finishes quickly, then the application is executing the network call and showing the items, and now it's confusing. This says that there are no items because there are zero items at that particular moment, but now there are three. If the test runner is unaware that the application is still fetching data, then what can happen is that when the data returns, the page can suddenly re-render. If the test runner is working with an element on the page, let's say found a button and tries to click, all of a sudden the page re-renders and that element is no longer attached to the DOM of the page. And that's how you get the dreaded element detached from the DOM Cypress error. It's just because the test runner is unaware the application is doing something and hasn't finished updating. If you can, Wait for a specific class or state in your application to know that your application is ready. Then you have to do something else to avoid those errors. One thing that people constantly ask me is how do you wait for network to idle in Cypress? Now, it's just JavaScript. Cypress has an unbelievably useful command called sci-intercept. And I've documented how to use sci-intercept and spy on network calls if you want to implement sci-network idle yourself. But because I'm a nice person, I actually implemented the network idle command as part of a new plugin that I released. So let me quit Cypress and I will install Cypress network idle package. Right now it's at version 1.1. .1. Let me start the application and open Cypress again. And meanwhile, I'll go back to my spec. Okay. And I need to load this new dependency that will provide a new custom command for waiting for network to be idle. I will import Cypress network idle. So I can import it from this spec if I only intend to use it in one file, or I can import it from the support file so it's available everywhere. And right now, let's see, okay, it loaded uh, Cypress definitions, and let's see if it now loaded the TypeScript for wait for network idle. And it seems like it did. The simplest case is to wait for every network call to finish and for no network calls to be executed within, let's say, two seconds. Now notice what happens in this case. The test fails as expected because wait for network idle, waited, then the application executed the call and wait for network idle, then waited for two seconds after that call to elapse without any new network calls to happen. So it finished after 1.5 plus 2 seconds. And then by then application already had rendered the three items and now it was uh, it has failed. So now we have to update should have length assertion to really check for three items because we know the application for sure has data. You can even change the timeout to zero because by then the application for sure has the data on the page so we don't have to retry for the items to be there because they for sure should be on the page by now after we waited for the network calls to finish and then waited for two seconds. The last thing, you know, if IntelliSense doesn't come true, you can say uh, the sp special triple reference types Cypress network idle. So this provides the IntelliSense for SciWait for network idle custom command. Finally, but wait for network idle currently has a couple of formats. You can wait for every network call to finish and then for two seconds to elapse without any new calls. 
or you can say I'm only interested in let's say get to, to this so you can provide HTTP method and a URL pattern to only match both calls really convenient if you only for example want to listen to GraphQL calls or you can just say I'm not sure about the HTTP method but I know it's a call to slash to do URL so you have a couple of options but in all cases wait for network idle can be implemented as a plugin that you can use today.